So I might have a little bit of an obsession with journals. I've been on and off the bullet journaling system for years now since I was in college and I realized that I go through so many different phases and iterations and um, different methods that I've discovered that may work or may be catastrophic failures that um, other people might enjoy seeing it and see that bullet journaling is really um, adaptable and not one size fits all and um, that even though I continue to use bullet journaling in general as a method of organizing my mind and documenting events and memories that every single one of them looks slightly different and that that lines up with the ebbs and flows of what's going on in my life in the world um, and how much time I have is <laughs> really a deciding factor for how these things wind up looking um, but I thought I would share with you from the fall of last year through my most recent all these journals that I that are in um, various states of completion. So starting off, we have this beast. This is a moleskin, um, moleskine, moleskine, however you feel like saying it. Um, from fall 2019, I remember sitting down in a local coffee shop here and drawing all of this and just getting completely lost in the illustrations. Oh, I forgot to give me one moment. No one needs to know my phone number. All right, hopefully there's no more sensitive information in these. So I'm just gonna do a little flip through. I did washi tape here all the way around. I feel like it gives it this nice cohesive look and this little guy on the back. Some more illustration. So this was when I came back from my summer job um, and back into the swing at the University of Delaware where I work. very heavily into the illustration currently. These are just um, some to-do lists, some planning out, an idea dump. This was notes from a meeting that I had. And we start to sort of morph into more um, using lots and lots of washi tape and just sticking things in. This was a monthly calendar that I wound up spilling a whole bunch of ink onto and I tried to just kind of use it and own it, but I still don't really like it. I like the sort of meadow look, you know, over here is kind of a mess, but whatever. Um, I like to use these tabs that are see-through, but you can kind of see that it was teal. I've had these ever since college, so, and I haven't used them because everything that I own has to coordinate so using washi tape helps me use up some of the things that I've been neglecting for a while. And this was October. This is a marker pen that wound up being really dark. You can't even see any of these numbers here. November I thought was cute. I really liked the little mushrooms and I liked the font that I did. Some more notes. I printed out a whole bunch of, oh, you out of focus. How do I fix you? Hopefully that's a little better. I'm still not great at using my camera. Um, 
So one thing that I do that uses up a ton of ink, <laughs> I print out a whole bunch of things that I find on usually Pinterest that are sort of varying themes but all in the same color scheme so that everything looks really cohesive. I'm still going with the black and gold sort of um, botanical doodles meetings. <laughs> this was before I got my cats. And here, I want this tattooed on me. Um, using more washi tape, using printouts. Sometimes I like to throw these pages in between. It's kind of like a, like a breath in the middle of all of these crazy things that are going on. Oh, I love to do vision boards. Some to-do lists, some trackers, some more things to do. This is just a journal page. I like to draw very mixed media. So I love having the different types of things but in the same color scheme. So it's like these really muted greens and sort of um, coral, like burnt orange, but in a really sort of like dusty way, so everything coordinates, and I think it's just beautiful how it all comes together. Another trick, instead of using up all of your ink, you could go to um, Home Depot or Lowe's or something and get a bunch of paint chips, which is what I did. And these things don't really have to mean anything thematically, it can just be an image that is beautiful to you, that resonates with how you feel that day. I was clearly feeling like the morning vibes, some to-dos. Sometimes I do a little review thing. I want to be aware of what I'm doing and how I'm spending my time. Journaling page went to see the Avett Brothers. This is just another um, collage page. This came out of the REI magazine, I think, and these are all printouts. This is from that magazine. Cat, don't you eat my basil. Kind of a combination of the um, collaging and the to-dos, meeting notes, a doodle here of the house. This, oh, the end had like two pages left. These are me trying to figure out my hours because it's hard. This is a bag that I took from um, an Aveda purchase. I cut off the top and I glued the bottom so I could put all my little scraps of paper and things in here um, to keep for my collaging. And that is that one. A lot of these I'm, I tried to do in chronological order, but I believe these were all simultaneous. Um, I had them in this guy. This is my traveler's notebook, which has multiple strings so you can take out oh, something's caught so you can take things out and replace them this is just a little holder pockets etc so all of these were in here which keeps it keeps them all together but separate at the same time I began seeing a nutritionist and this is how I was logging everything. She said she had never seen anything like it. This was from my birthday a couple years ago. <laughs> I was eating a giant baguette. I don't know if you can see that if it's in focus. Um, goofy food themed things. Um, she recommended that I write everything down just to know what I'm doing, but I took that and absolutely ran with it. I journaled, I logged, I kept track. I don't care if you know how much I weigh because it's a lot and it doesn't mean anything. So this is, I was writing down what I ate, how much of it. This was a um, old Alice in Wonderland book that I got for like a quarter that I ripped up and put in here because I apparently have no respect for books. This is from old um, notebook paper that I got from a vintage store. Again, it's 
it's more um, scrapbook um, collage type elements and then I stopped because I stopped going and have ruined all my progress but I have a nice journal this one was a work journal I if you don't know I work at the University of Delaware Rep Theater and I do wigs so I was dyeing lace for different wigs and then doing some studies in um, old hair history. Most of it's meeting notes and hours. I didn't keep up with this one as much because it was just tedious. <sighs> this one was super collage-y, so I don't like the front page though. <laughs> This is my cat Darwin, and this is me enjoying a coffee. I think this came out of a magazine. This came from a cause box. So October. I love the look of classical paintings mixed with um, other imagery. Again, everything in that same sort of muted pinks and corals color scheme. I just took a calendar out of another journal that I have and uh, did that instead of drawing it in because that was super tedious. A journal page. These are some memories, some like, you know, you get stickers and things that you don't really know what else to do with, so I just stuck them all here. I like her look, the more like morning vibes quotes that I like, journals, Inktober planning, oh I got into stamps, I was experimenting with a lot of different things, oh, this is a little um, snippet that my friend gave me, oops, I hit it, it's just a phase because it's moons, <laughs> more Inktober, Another journal page. Yeah, it sort of um, fell apart as I went into Inktober and got more um, busy. More journal pages. And then I had a few pages left. I guess I was just over that one and then replaced it with this, which is where my um, bullet journaling kind of ebbed so from November. I started off kind of strong continuing, but I really was not feeling this like stark white. Um, Ruby did this, one of the kids of the actors that um, is a company member. Some questions I was asking myself. I have realized that doing wigs for theater is not my life passion and I don't want to be doing that for the rest of my life or even, you know, much longer, longer than I need to in order to survive. So I'm trying to figure out what the thing is that I would rather be doing. So I'm asking myself questions. Like what would I do if I didn't have to worry about money, if I could just do whatever I want? <laughs> Which of course sounds great. Let's see. All this, nothing there. Which brings us to 2020. So I guess in November I fell off of it, in December I didn't do anything because it's just holidays. Um, making sure there's no sensitive information. Here we are. I tried to do a table of contents, 
wound up not um, finishing that. That's a common theme in my bullet journaling. Did a little 2020 illustration. So in this I go hardcore to the other side of things where uh, I don't do much collaging type stuff at all. And it's mostly like the Tombow markers, the dual tips. So my goals and my bucket list, I have some things that I want to work on and it's today is April 2nd. So I'm not doing terribly looking at this, but um, I could definitely be doing better. I need to revisit this more often. Year at a Glance, which I never finished. <laughs> this was my best idea ever in the world. In order to more easily figure out what we were going to eat each week, I devised this genius plan. So I compiled a list of meals that we cook fairly regularly, that are easy, that we know what we're doing. Um, I compiled a list of 20 of them. And then each week we would roll a D20 five or six times and whatever it landed on is what we were gonna make. I also made a little list of the things that we need in order to make those meals so that we can cross-reference with our pantry and not be buying multiples of things. I also made a list of drinks and snacks. This is a weekly um, planner page, a grocery list. I was trying to keep a food tracker. Again, this is if I took my vitamin, I'm trying to keep track of water. A weekly page. This is me trying to manage my feelings. Another weekly page. This was from a meeting that I don't think I really needed to be at, so I was doodling. Um, Cody and I got really into climbing and I miss it so much. I wanna go back, but everything's closed and for a good reason, we need to stay safe. But I did um, doodles of the climbing gear and I was coloring it in as I was getting things. and. Um, using way more color in this bullet journal than I do in the rest of my life and I had fun with it for a little bit but I really prefer for things to be like one color scheme which is basically all neutrals with hints of like blush pink or um, rust kind of colors terracotta like a Himalayan salt rock <laughs> Um, so the blue is fine, but that's kind of all it is. These are some lists that I made. Active hobbies that I want to try, like climbing. We definitely have done a lot of that. Um, I'm doing yoga every day now, so that's exciting to see that that's on there. Um, and then some things that help me to stay motivated when I'm, like, in a slump and if I just don't care, if I just want to go binge eat or something. <laughs> so... These are some things to remind myself, and I haven't revisited this except for like once. So I think it would be good to reconnect with these goals and set some new intentions, especially since I will be home for a while. I kind of have the time to reflect on that and put it into action, hopefully. A lot of this I can't do, but I think a lot of this I can do. Um, Cody is joining the Coast Guard and we were probably going to be going to um, Petaluma, California after he graduates from basic training. Right now with the state of the world, I have no idea what any of that looks like, but this is me trying to get a grip on just the geography of California since I have only ever been on the East Coast. And can I help you? <laughs> um... These are just some things that I was wanting to do and it's making me really sad because I don't know if I'll be able to go now. Great, moving on. Um, the meals! So I would write out all of the days and then roll the d20 and um, write what we're having and then go through the list of ingredients and figure out what we have and what we need and I would make this list. And then I'm just going to skip because this is some relatively sensitive information, just like to keep private. Grocery list, 
These were purchases that I was planning to make instead of just like impulse buying them. These are all of my tasks. I really do like this spread though. Everything's pastel. Um, I have one of those Dymo labelers and I would do marker underneath and then the clear label on top so it all coordinates. Um, they're there, I promise. You probably just can't see them. So these are all like my to-dos for January and they're all um, categorized. Spending log. Another week planning page. These are some um, relaxing hobbies to try. And these are probably what I'm gonna be doing more during my quarantine time. Um, so like book binding, I have a kit for doing that. Oh, I wanna design coloring books. So that's something else that I'm gonna be doing soon. And growing herbs and food. Look, I have, I'm growing little babies. I don't remember what they are because I'm an idiot and I didn't label it, but you know, here we are. <laughs> And I'm going to skip from here because it's more um, finances that I would just prefer to keep private. So another shopping list and then daily journal layout, which I don't really remember what I was doing this for. Maybe I was just planning like future pages. Another week. Oh, look. Stink bug. Oh, the thing. Okay, this is a moleskin and... I've used probably actually like 50% of the pages in this because they're so thin they just bleed through like crazy and I hate that so I stick the pages together which is not um, a very efficient use of materials but I think Cody gave me this one so I'm just utilizing my uh, materials that I have. Moving on. I was trying to do a fitness log and keep track of um, like climbing and how I was doing with that so I can keep track of my progress because I find that helps me helps motivate me if I if I can look back and know that I'm doing better than I was I was doing some doodling I was writing down astrology things who everybody or what astrology sign people are and these are a bunch of, a huge list of things that I want to do since I'm home for such a long time. Because um, I can keep myself entertained. But I am, I'm working on masks and I still have work to do for work. So I'll be doing that. But, um, you know, to mix it up, there's a bunch of stuff that I would like to be doing outside of that. And some swatches. This was me testing putting the label on top of the thing. Oh, these are, look, Bujo flip through. <laughs> these are some swatches, and then this is another to-do list that I guess just got stuck here a couple days ago. So, that is that, and this is a really long video, so if you've stuck with me this long, I really appreciate it. Just gonna quickly show you, this is what I'm currently using. This is another traveler's notebook, but it's a little stiffer and it doesn't have any pockets. This is a little um, pocket that I made myself. And I currently have five notebooks in here, all categorized for what they are. So if you would like to see inside this thing, oh, I can't live like that. Let me know and I'll post a video. I can do a little tour of it in progress. I could even do like a bullet journal with me and we can just hang out for a bit. Um, I had a friend of mine request that I do a paint with me, so I might do that. Let me know if you're interested in seeing that. Um, other than that, thank you so much for sticking with me this long. Let me know if you were inspired by anything that you saw or if you have any suggestions of um, spread ideas or tips for bullet journaling. I would love to know them. I obviously am a paper hoarder. I love the materials and I just, I love the feel of a full notebook. That's just my nerd. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Stay safe. Um, stay well. I hope that nobody is going to stir crazy. Um, let's all be kind to each other. It's a really tough time and everybody, like my mom says, everybody's going through the fire in their own way. So... Be well. Thanks, guys. Bye.